Hi YouTube, welcome to MA Academy. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to write a simple script in Python to change your MAC address. Now this is the first tutorial and in this one I will create a simple script. And what I will do in the next few tutorials is that uh, next few tutorials is that I will keep adding on more code to it in order to improve it and in order to add more functionality to it. So this is the first one. It's going to be simple. Next few tutorials. I'm going to make it more and more interesting. So let's get started. So in here, let me first open a shell and let's go to desktop. So you can see that currently my desktop is empty and there's nothing in it. So let's create a file and let's call it macchanger.py. Now in here, the first thing, let's uh, add the shebang line, specify the location of Python. So it's user bin env. Python. Now the advantage of using this env environment variable Python is that it will find the Python no matter where it is. So we can uh, statically type Python or use env. I think this is better, but you can use uh, you can use just Python in here as well instead of env Python. Uh, now in order to use this, what we have to do first is that we have to import the sub process module. So and let's type in import and then let's say sub process. So this will import the sub process module which we will need uh, to execute the commands that we are about to execute so whenever you want to execute a command a bash command in python or through python you have to improve, uh, uh, import the sub process module so let me open this uh, quickly in here so let's say i type in ifconfig eth0 so currently my mac address is 001122abcdef so this is my mac address and what i want to do is that i want to change it uh, so if i type in ifconfig eth0 down it will bring down my interface so whenever we are typing these commands if we want to run these commands in python we need to import the sub process module for it so let's quickly bring up my interface so in here you have seen already that the mac address that i have currently is 001122 and then a b c d e f so let's uh let me close it now the first thing that we have to do is that let's type in sub process the name of the module and then type in call so we will be using the call function and now what this function does is that it will run this command that we will type and it wouldn't call the next command until we are done using it so let's type it first and then i will explain it once i have done it so if config eth0 and then down so, uh, so as uh, i did a few seconds ago it will uh, bring down the interface and then we pass in the argument shell is equal to true now in the next line again let's type in subprocess.call and this time we type in the if config eth0 ether and hw sorry hw ether and then the mac address that we want to use so let's say we want to use 00 11 22 and then again let's say we want to use 00 let's say we want to use 01 23 45 so this is the com um, this is the MAC address that we want to have, and again we have to have this argument shell is equal to true, and at the end what we want to do is that we want to bring up our interface. So how do we do this? If config eth0 and then app, and then the argument as always, which is shell is equal to true. So in here the command first one it's if config eth0 down, then it's if config eth0 hw ether the new mac address and then it's ifconfig eth0 up now let's say you have some other interface like wlan0 or some other interface it doesn't matter you can use those interfaces so all you have to do is you have to replace these uh, interfaces in here so let me quickly show you this one in here as well so uh, if i type in ifconfig Currently, I have this ETH0 interface and this loopback interface. Uh, I don't have a wireless network attached to it right now, but if I had, it would have shown as WLAN0. So I could have used that as well. So currently, I'm using this name, ETH0. But if your interface has some other name, you can use those as well. 
so as I said previously this is the MAC address that I'm using it is uh, 001122 and then ABCDEF so in here let's open it now uh, let's save this so if I do an LSL so let me change it to an executable 755 and the name of the file Mac changer now if I do an LSL you can see that now it's an executable script and if I run it Python 3 Mac changer and run it now let me go back in here so previously it said that the MAC address that I am using is 001122ABCDEF. Um, I know I'm kind of repeating it again and again, saying that this is zero, but I kind of emphasize it. So this is my current MAC address. Now, if I do, uh, if I type in ifconfig880 again, now you can see that it has changed. Now it is 001122 and then 012345. So what this script that we wrote, what it did is that it changed my MAC address. Now, I didn't want to start it by explaining what MAC address is and how it works, why you, would, you need to change it, because I didn't want to start by giving a long lecture. I just wanted to get into it and show you guys how to do it. Now, in here, what um, at the end, uh, for those of you that don't know what a MAC address is and how it works, now, the MAC address is a unique address that is given to all those network, all the devices that connect to a network. So it's like your mobile phone, your computers, um, uh, servers out there network uh, these routers switches the that their ports they all have a MAC address now what a MAC address does is that it individually uh, it uh, identifies and uniquely a device on the network so no two devices on earth has the same MAC address so this is the MAC address in here and what it does is that it uniquely identifies a machine on the network so no two devices on earth has the same MAC address. All devices have a unique MAC address. So what it does is that it uniquely identifies your device on the network. So let's say you want to change your MAC address. Uh, so why would you want to do it? Now, there are three reasons that I can think of you would want to do it. One is that you want to increase your anonymity. So you, want, you don't want people to know that uh, your MAC address, you don't want to have uh, people know what uh, you are doing currently so let's say you're surfing the web and you're so it's easy for um, people in your local area network to see how much traffic you're using bandwidth you're using etc and they can identify you by using your IP address and also your MAC address so it's very easy to do it so that's why you might want to change your MAC address and it can also impersonate other devices so sometimes some um, wireless access points what they have is that uh, they have this security feature in which they allow only those MAC addresses uh, so that they have uh, specified or they have whitelisted so they will say that these MAC addresses can connect to the AP so what so let's say you want to connect to that uh, uh, AP and you don't have that um, you don't have that particular MAC address so what you can do is that you can change your own MAC address and the third reason is that you want to bypass filters so as I said sometimes you might connect to a switch or to an access point and you are not allowed so what you can do is that you can change your MAC address to a MAC address that is allowed now having said that please do not use this for malicious purposes don't use this um, script that I showed you guys don't use these commands for malicious purposes don't use it in environments in which you don't have any permission um, always be careful uh, because if you try to access devices you are not allowed to then you might get in trouble so this the purpose of this tutorial is for educational purposes only this is to increase your cyber security awareness and um, having said that this is it for this one guys in the next few tutorials uh, i will keep on adding more functionality to this code so if you are interested you can watch them as well uh, so if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put them in the comments section below and i will see you guys in the next one